Welcome back to B Spice. In this session, we'll discuss about end of line resistors and line monitoring. Okay, so how they work and why they are used in fire and gas system and high integrity control circuit. Okay, so these are the aspects and we are going to talk. Okay, this is the look and feel of this end of line resistor. As you can see here, see how it is connected, right? So this is a typical for uh, NO output wiring and this is for NC output wiring, okay? So let us dive deep into this. Uh, again, this comes under back to basics, okay? Yeah, so end of line resistors. What is end of line resistors? End of line resistors or resistors of a known value that are used to terminate protective loops or zones, such as those found in fire and gas system and some emergency shutdown system. So this is the definition. Of course, you, you guys all know this. Yeah, just a refresher. Okay, now what's the purpose? The purpose of EOLR is to allow the control system to supervise the field wiring for open and short circuit conditions. So this is the typical normally closed contact. You see here, it is uh, in series with this, and this is normally open contact, okay? Parallel to this, yeah. So the, however, you know, the control system responds to each of this fault condition depends on the system configuration, isn't it? So the point is, EOLA is to allow the control system to supervise the field wiring. How the control system responds to each of these fault condition depends on the configuration. So generally, control system views an open circuit as fault or alarm condition, isn't it? And a short circuit as alarm condition. So EOLR, end of line resistor, allow the control panel to differentiate between these two conditions by looking for a known resistance. The concept is very clear, isn't it? Yes. So now some manufacturers, uh, we'll see the design, some manufacturers allow the use of double EOLR, okay? It's known as D-E-O-L-R-S, okay? Double end of line resistors. So how, what is the design feature here? Yes, in this case, the second resistor is added across the terminal, as you can see here, across the terminal, okay? In addition to the cable, uh, so it is terminated across the terminal of the sensor so that it is parallel with the circuit, okay? So the second resistor adds a capability of differentiate between an open and open sensor and the open or broken circuit. So if the sensor opens, the current passes through both the series and the parallel resistor. So the panel senses the reduced voltage and knows that the sensor is open. So with this configuration, zero voltage can mean only one thing, meaning a broken circuit. And this constitutes the maximum supervision of a loop wiring. So this is the design features. Okay, now where to use this end of a, a line resistor? End of a line resistor should always be installed at the last device in the loop and never inside the control panel. So placing resistor anywhere other than the end of line does nothing to supervise the wiring, which is the reason for using this resistor. So reason for not using, of course, cars, although the price of each resistor is very low, the time taken to install, you know, the EOLRS and the potential for increased commissioning and maintenance time needs to be considered. And second, of course, compatibility, adding EOLR to sensor may interfere with how they work or indeed may invalidate the hazardous area certification of the device to which the sensor is added. And hence, always check with the sensor manufacturer prior to installing this end of line resistor. So these are some of the reasons for not using now what is the value, uh, resistant value? Of course, there is no standards for the EOLR values. Each manufacturer of protective system, meaning the fire alarm system, specifies their own value. For different types of input card in a system, 
the value may be different. So we need to check with the supplier on the size of the resistor to be used in any given app. Okay, so that's it. Then we also touch upon a line monitor. The term line monitoring is often used to describe the circuit that uses the end of line resistor. For example, line monitoring on the input of the manual call point, right? So why, what is this? Why do circuits need line monitoring, right? So fire zones usually use the end of line resistor. This is because fire sensors are normally open device, not a, a, a note, a, take note friend, fire device sensors are normally open. So, and only close the circuit when they trip. Normally open, they close the circuit when they trip. So therefore, fire zone in its normal state would appear to the same, uh, to the FNG system as the one where the wire has been cut, right? Namely open, you got it? Fire zone in normal state would appear the same as uh, same to the fire and gas system as the one where wire has been cut. Even the wire cut also, it will be, you know, same. So you can't be able to differentiate it, okay? So to prove on this, a resistor is used to close the circuit with reduced voltage so that it can be monitored. That's it, friends. So that's all I have for this end of line resistor. Thank you for watching. So again, this is just to, you know, refresh your memories, friends. That's it. Eh? Refresh your uh, basics. That's it. Thank you for watching and see you soon in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.